Have you ever dreamed of enjoying a meal made entirely from your garden? Imagine the taste, the freshness, and the satisfaction. Welcome to the magical world of home gardening. It's a place where your kitchen table becomes a banquet of vibrant fruits and vegetables, all harvested from your backyard. The tomatoes bursting with flavor, the crisp crunch of fresh lettuce, and the sweet, juicy peaches picked right from the tree. It's the ultimate farm-to-table experience, and it's all within your reach. Home gardening is more than just a hobby. It's a lifestyle. It's about embracing the beauty of nature, nurturing life from a single seed, and reaping the rewards of your labor. It's about connecting with the earth, understanding its rhythms, and becoming a part of the natural cycle of growth and renewal. And the benefits of home gardening extend beyond the plate. Gardening is a physical activity that keeps you active and helps reduce stress. It's a way to engage with your environment and contribute to its well-being. Plus, growing your own food reduces the need for commercially grown produce, which often involves long-distance transportation and storage contributing to carbon emissions. But here's a surprising fact that might pique your interest. Did you know that a single tomato plant can yield up to 10 pounds of tomatoes in a season? That's a whole lot of fresh, delectable tomatoes you can enjoy in salads, sauces, or simply on their own, and it's just one example of the plentiful bounty you can achieve from your home garden. And the best part? You don't need acres of land or years of experience to start a home garden. All you need is a small patch of outdoor space, some basic tools, and a dash of enthusiasm. And of course, a willingness to get your hands a little dirty. So, whether you're an urban dweller with a small balcony or a suburbanite with a spacious backyard, home gardening is a journey that anyone can embark on, and we're here to guide you every step of the way. In the next few minutes, you will learn how to start your own farm-to-table garden. To start a garden, the first step is to select the right spot. Now you might be wondering, what makes a spot right for gardening? Well, there are three key factors to consider. Sunlight, soil type, and water access. Let's begin with sunlight. Most vegetables and fruits thrive in full sunlight, so choose a spot that gets at least six hours of direct sunlight daily. Next, let's talk about soil. The ideal soil for a garden is a well-draining, fertile loam. Test your soil to determine its type and fertility. If it's not up to par, don't fret. You can improve it with compost or other organic matter. Finally, consider water access. Your garden will need to stay hydrated, especially during dry spells. Make sure your chosen spot is near a water source, be it a hose, a sprinkler system, or a rain barrel. With the right spot, you're one step closer to your dream garden. Next, you need to decide what to plant in your garden. The choice of crops is influenced by three main factors, climate, space, and personal preference. Climate dictates what plants will thrive in your garden. For instance, tomatoes love the heat, while spinach prefers cooler temperatures. Understanding your local weather patterns will help you select the best crops for your garden. Space is another consideration. Some plants, like pumpkins, require a lot of room to grow, while others, such as radishes, can be packed in tight. Then there's personal preference. Plant what you love to eat. If you're a salad enthusiast, lettuce and radishes might be a good choice. Or perhaps you're a fan of homemade salsa, in which case tomatoes, onions and peppers should be on your list. Remember, variety is the spice of life. Including a mix of different crops will lead to a more exciting and diverse harvest. Choosing the right crops is crucial for a successful garden. Now that you've chosen your crops, it's time to get your hands dirty. Soil preparation is the foundation of a thriving garden. It's essential to have a good understanding of your ground's composition. Most plants prefer a well-draining soil that's rich in organic matter. If you're dealing with heavy clay or sandy soil, don't fret. Adding compost can improve its texture and fertility. Once your soil is prepared, it's time to plant. Whether you're planting seeds or seedlings, the general rule is to plant at a depth of twice the diameter of the seed. A handy tip to remember is, the smaller the seed, the shallower it needs to be planted. For seedlings, dig a hole deep and wide enough to accommodate the root ball. After planting, water your garden generously. Seeds need moisture to germinate and seedlings need it to establish their roots. However, it's crucial to avoid overwatering as it can lead to root rot. The key is to keep the soil consistently moist but not waterlogged. Now the real test of your patience begins. The daily care routine. Regular watering is a must, preferably in the early morning or late evening when the sun's heat is less intense. The amount of water your plants need will depend on their type, the weather, and the soil's moisture retention capability. Feeding your plants, 
is just as important as watering them. Most plants benefit from a balanced fertilizer applied every two to four weeks during the growing season. Don't forget to mulch. It not only suppresses weeds but also helps retain soil moisture and adds organic matter to the soil as it decomposes. And finally, weeding. It's not the most exciting task but it's necessary. Weeds compete with your plants for nutrients, water, and sunlight. Regular weeding keeps them in check and your plants happy. Gardening is a labor of love. It requires patience, persistence, and a whole lot of dirt. But the reward of seeing your plants grow and eventually harvesting your own food is immeasurable. With proper care, your garden will flourish. Gardening is not without its challenges. Pests and diseases can harm your plants. But fear not, there are organic solutions to these common gardening woes. Let's delve into them. For common pests like aphids, try a spray of water mixed with mild dish soap. It's gentle on plants but tough on these tiny intruders. Slugs and snails? A simple trap with beer can do the trick. They're attracted to the yeast, fall in, and can't get out. Now, on to diseases. Fungal infections can be a real menace. Combat this with a homemade spray of baking soda, dish soap, and water. It alters the pH on leaf surfaces, making it less hospitable for fungus. Remember, prevention is always better than cure. Regularly check your plants for signs of pests or diseases. Maintain a clean garden, remove any diseased plants promptly, and ensure your plants are well-spaced for good air circulation. With these tips, you can protect your garden from pests and diseases. So, let's keep those gardens healthy and thriving. The most rewarding part of gardening is the harvest. It's the moment we've been nurturing and caring for, the culmination of our efforts. But knowing when to harvest can be a bit of a puzzle. For leafy greens like lettuce and spinach, you'll want to pluck the outer leaves when they are young and tender. They'll continue to grow from the center, providing a continual harvest. Root vegetables such as carrots and beets are ready when their tops peek out of the soil. A gentle tug will reveal if they're the right size. Tomatoes, peppers and eggplants should be harvested when they're fully colored and slightly give to the touch. And for squash and zucchini, harvest them while they're still small and tender. The larger they grow, the tougher they become. Remember, each plant has its own optimal harvest time. Harvesting at the right time ensures the best taste and nutritional value. Now it's time to enjoy the fruits of your labor. Your garden isn't just a testament to your green thumb, it's your very own personal grocery store ripe with possibilities. Imagine this, a crisp salad with lettuce and cucumbers picked straight from your garden, topped with a sprinkling of freshly harvested herbs. Or maybe a hearty vegetable soup, stewed with tomatoes, carrots, and potatoes, each ingredient carrying the taste of your hard work and dedication. And don't forget about the sweet treats. Berries plucked at their peak of ripeness make for a perfect pie filling or a refreshing addition to your morning breakfast bowl. The recipes you can create with your garden produce are truly endless. Each dish not only nourishes your body but also your soul, knowing that it was all grown by you. With home gardening, you can enjoy fresh healthy meals right from your backyard. Are you ready to start your farm-to-table garden? Imagine the satisfaction of stepping just outside your door to gather the freshest ingredients for your meals. The crunch of a carrot just pulled from the earth, the burst of flavor from a sun-ripened tomato, or the aromatic delight of your very own homegrown herbs. These are experiences that simply can't be bought. But this journey is not just about growing food, it's about growing a community. We encourage you to share your gardening adventures on social media. Show us your first sprouts, your biggest harvest, or your most creative garden-to-table dish. By doing so, you'll inspire others to start their own garden and experience the magic of farm-to-table living. Remember, every great garden started with a single seed, so why not plant yours today? Experience the joy and benefits of homegrown food. Start your gardening journey today.